and probably you are pretty familiar with phase change either by theory or by real life you probably seen that uh, every single pure substance or well almost technically all substances uh, may experience a change of mass uh, of matter state what's a matter state solid liquid or even gas at a uh, very important at certain pressure and certain temperature I will give you, for example, if I give you one pressure, probably you're going to get one temperature. And I give you one different pressure, you're going to get another boiling point. Uh, we're going to study that in the next slides, but just take into consideration that for every temperature you say, you need to have a pressure. For example, you probably know that water boils at 100 Celsius, but I always tell my students and all the people with, that say that, that they must specify at one atmosphere because you can even boil wa water at 90 Celsius at lower pressures so it's kind of obvious that when you say 100 Celsius is at one atmosphere but the most thermodynamic correct phrase will be at certain pressure very important this is a physical change not a chemical one so the pure substance is still being the same pure substance for example water is still h2o even though it's gas vapor or liquid or solid whatever the case it is the composition is the same okay so remember that enthalpy remember that h which is similar to internal energy and which is directly proportional to the temperature. As you can see, the higher you go from solid, liquid, and gas, you increase the enthalpy. Enthalpy means essentially energy. So we could say that this is not enthalpy, but also energy. So see that arrow as the system, solid changes to liquid and liquid changes to gas, the energy also increases. And of course, if you condense something to liquid and then freeze it, you're going to lower the energy on the system and you can see the changes or the what's the name of the process when you change from solid to gas it's uh, sublimation it's kind of uh, interesting probably you know if you've gone to the bathroom especially men they have these pills that are for nice aroma and it's nice because they are solid and they go directly to gas to have a good aroma good smell etc uh, the position it's a little bit more complex. I'm not going to explain that, but will be if you're in a gas phase, they go direct, directly to the pose on the surface, and they are solids. Probably you're used to solid liquid, which is diffusion, or liquid to solid, which is freezing. Gas to liquid is condensation, and liquid to gas is vaporization. So I bring you this table. It's a little bit more logic. I love the solid to solid and liquid to liquid and gas to gas. Of course, they don't exist. This is no process at all. But solid to liquid, from solid to liquid, you will have fusion. From gas to liquid, you will have condensation. And you can use the table, whatever or whatever you want to choose. For example, liquid to gas, you will have boiling. Gas to solid, you have the, the position. And I don't recommend you to learn it as a as, or learned by heart just learn it by logic you know probably gas to liquid and solid to liquid maybe the only ones you need to learn are these two new guys right here which we will not be using that much in the course but it's thermodynamics What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. 
My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.